so good for this community and on behalf of everybody at the TSI I want to say thank you Leah for your positivity for giving back for always being so helpful thank you thank you so much there you are thank you Enterprise and we're a commissioned day service with Murray Council and we offer 25 adults the opportunity to learn in retail and we've got five every day and everybody learns the basic skills and everything that goes hand in hand with um, a retail setting so they learn all the basic skills um, and then when we feel they're at the stage to move on to move on from the project um, we seek advice from the Murray Council and um, someone there supports um, the ladies or gents to move on to paid employment. So that's what we're about. I mean, this is a real job to them when they get up in the morning, which it is. Um, and just to see the, the enjoyment in their faces while they're here, it's, uh, it's really good. I enjoy it. It's what I like doing. Things I like doing, knitting, so I'm mucking about and playing around with things. So. I enjoy that sort of thing, so, and I like to see them achieve for their own benefits. A lot of the things that they do, they feel that sort of sense of achievement. So. Got ya! <laughs> I've seen so much of people just being left to sit and do nothing, so if I can see them doing something, that's good. I met Shirley and the rest of the staff team at one of the Elgin Bed events. I kept coming in and seeing how everything was and I thought, I really fancy coming to volunteer here. I think I've changed quite a bit as far as my perception to from working purely with young people now to working with adults and learning difficulties as well. So it's a huge perception change. I've always been a great believer in making everyone across the market socially inclusive within the local community. Particularly my great passion is adults with learning difficulties as well. So. In Stitches is a fabulous name. Because we're always in Stitches. Always. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your work you. for, for the Chest Heart Stroke. So on behalf of the TSI, thank you very much for your volunteering. It is appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I think I felt I, I had to give something back after I'd had a lot of help when my husband had his stroke. And my father had a stroke as well, so it seemed logical to volunteer for Chest Heart and Stroke Scotland. And I've kept coming because I enjoy it. We've had um, members who've been and moved on because they've got confidence back and learning, you know, how to communicate. Um, and uh, so some members have moved on. Unfortunately, more people have strokes and they come and they need help. I hope I'll still be volunteering in another 10 years' time, but who knows? I'll see you in 10 years.
and you've been nominated as an outstanding volunteer, and you are, and Heidi is too. So congratulations, Maureen has nominated you. Oh, for goodness sake! I was wondering what on earth you were doing there. <laughs> heard about the feather pets before so I went online and looked it up to begin with and um, found that Maureen was the area organiser. You know everybody's so pleased to see us all this because it's Heidi that's doing it. You know she's the one that has to put up with being lifted up onto beds and you know and keep smiling and keep looking cute and not be and I mean she's just sitting there perfectly happily just now you know. So I feel I've kind of had a chance to do a lot more with the dog than I, than I ever expected to. You know? I just was just thinking of it as a companion, etc. She's actually done lots of things. So it's been good fun. Outstanding volunteer, and I'm from the TSI, and I'm oh here to say you are an outstanding volunteer. Well done, congratulations! The reality is that plan wouldn't be running the way it does without Pat. She's been by my side from day one, which was three, over three years ago and she's worked, um, I would say, more than full-time hours. She just does absolutely everything. And she, she does all of the, um, the accounts, the money, the um, fundraising, she gives support to people, she organises everything. Yeah, so she's non-stop. Fundraising's probably the hardest part of it because uh, it is a lot of work and it's getting the other volunteers and other people to help as well, you know, so it is, that is the hardest part is uh, getting all this together. It's just something that I felt I needed to do and I enjoy doing it. Um, I have time to do it. I don't see a time when I'm not going to be volunteering. I find it hard sometimes when, you know, depending on on the person, you know, you get really involved with the people and that, that can be hard, you know, just getting involved with them and listening to their story and especially if it resonates in, in, in my life, you know, but, but volunteering sort of kept me going. <laughs> So I mean that's just amazing and as soon as they come, not very many of them leave and don't come back so we're doing really well, we're proper drawing them in. An hour and a half of my time and as you can see it makes everybody's day so it's great. A lot more people like darts than what I thought. <laughs> He does so much for us. He's so reliable and he comes in every week. He, he, he has had one week off since I've been here and that was because it was his daughter's wedding so we gave him that week off. Um, but he's here early to help me set up every single week without fail. Um, and the support he gives the families is just amazing. And you see him in there just now playing with the kids. He gets involved and just instills good values with them, I think. It's such a good thing to do. It gives me satisfaction and also helps other parents and the children when they can. What have I learned? I've learned it's a big uh, thing. You've got to mix and you've got to help each other. It's like any part of life. If you help each other, it's a good thing. And we all help each other, it's great.
connection between Steve and the people he helps. Um, he, he's able to listen and understand their needs and able to help them on a level that they can relate to. So he really has that connection um, with people in that sense, but also just really friendly. And They have a laugh and a cup of tea together and I think they just have a good time as well. <laughs> so it's just lovely to see. Well I've done that sort of stuff for donkey's years, so not, not to this extent. Um, but you know, whenever anybody's wanted help I've, you know, or, said, or I've noticed that someone's having trouble with something, then I'll help them. Um, That's where it comes from. <laughs> um, he's one of many wonderful volunteers, but um, for us, John is an outstanding volunteer um, and despite, despite his young years, shall we say, um, he just epitomises the caring um, side of Murray, shall we say, with all the volunteers that, that help people in the local community. He's definitely up there with the best. Oh yes, yes, yes. just visiting them and, and uh, having tea and having a chat with them makes a big difference. I just wish I could do more of it because there's a lot of people, lonely people, who need company. And uh, there's just not enough volunteers at the moment and any, anybody that can help in any way would be, it would be a great help. are officially an outstanding volunteer. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for Cheers much, all what you do. Cheers, Alistair, thank you. You know. <laughs> Not for you. On Wednesday nights, it's a disability football team. The majority of them have learning disabilities. Some have small physical disabilities. And it's a group yeah. that have come from the ashes of the hurricanes. It used to be, I, mean, I think it was going for years, but I joined it in the last two years to help out as a volunteer. And then it, was, it all folded. It was a social group as well as a football group. So I just took it on merely as a football group. And so as you can see, I have a regular bunch of 13 in total. And there's, there's a majority of them at the main stay and come every week, really enjoy it. Okay, Turkey, when you're ready, start them off. Congratulations, yes. It's not me, it's the dog. <laughs>